All right, so a little information about how the mouth should work for everybody. Our tongue should fit in the space of our palate like this so nicely. When there's not enough room in the palate or the palate is higher, the tongue doesn't have space to fit. So it affects the tongue's ability to go up to the palate. In addition, um, we'll get there in a minute. When a tongue cups around any nipple, breast, bottle, or pacifier, it should cup like so around stimulus and then it should do a wave motion like this with the back of the tongue going to the roof of the mouth and doing a literal wave with the tongue. If there's decreased range of motion in the tongue, any level of range of motion, so that would be all the way to the tongue tip, all the way out here, even a little bit of decreased range of motion posteriorly, it's going to affect the tongue's ability to elevate to the palate and therefore extraction from breast or bottle. Um, and what happens is that the cheeks and the lips will compensate for that. So you end up with more of a chomping motion um, when they're feeding and increased tightness in the lips and cheeks because they feel like they need to come on board to compensate for what the tongue's not doing. Also, when you have decreased range of motion, just like if you had it in your body, you're gonna have decreased tongue lateralization. Um, a moving tongue is a healthy mouth, and so if the tongue's not moving, then it's our job in therapy to get that tongue moving and doing everything it should to make feeding safe and efficient.